Okie dokie. So here's our formula for the sum of a geometric sequence. I can tell it's a geometric sequence because it's in this form uh, with something to a power. So I need my first term, and the safest way to get the first term is to plug in the first thing down here. So if I plug in a k is 0, then uh, anything to the 0 is 1 times 3 is 3. So my a sub 1 is 3. My r is what's being raised to that power. So this is 1 minus 1 half. And then I need the n, the number of terms. So since I'm going from 0 and going to 10, there's actually 11 terms. If I were going from 1 to 10, that would be 10 terms. So you could count it. It's, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You'd get 11. And, the, and um, the formula for that, you could do this minus that plus 1. So 10 minus 0 is 10, plus 1 gives you that 11, and that's how many terms are in that actual sequence. So we've got that, and then we have 1 minus 1 half, and that's your setup. And this is going to be a god-ugly number. Holy crap. Okay. So if they allow decimals, go for it. If not, we're going to do 1 minus um, 2 to the 11th is 2048. So 1 over 2048 over 1 minus a half is a half. And 1 is 2048 over 2048. So now they have the same denominator, so that top is 2047 over 2048. And if I'm dividing by a half, that's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal 2 over 1. So this lovely mess is going to give you 3 times 2047 times 2 on the top, which is 12282 divided by 2048, and we get 12282 divided by 2048. Eight math enter enter will make that a fraction six one four one six one four one over one zero four two and if I actually divide that six one four one divided by one zero two four oops two four with that backwards that should be two four because I can read and then it's if you got a decimal, it should be 5.99707. So, hopefully, that matches.